the world is a very large place and society, you know, like matter has, has inertia. We started making progress in science when we stopped trying to convince anybody of what we knew. This becomes the bigger issue, not, not whether or not we can come up with a free energy machine because we sure as hell can. We've done, humanity is, well, I don't know, there's probably 40 or 50 ways of making what I generally refer to as a self-turning wheel. Okay, and we were, in those days, we were still looking at the meters and thinking that the meters were telling us the truth. Yeah. <laughs> you know, John Bedini was the first one to really come out and say, look, you can measure the hell out of this stuff, and it's irrelevant, okay? Because if you take the energy out of, this, out of these machines and you throw it into a battery, the battery charges three times faster than the, than the meters say it should. We don't know what's going on here. We can clearly see there's something going on here that we do not understand and we cannot measure. If we tell that to our employer, they're going to say, we're not the experts anymore and we'll lose our job. If we say it works, but we don't know how, then we're done. But if we say it doesn't work, we keep our jobs. And that's what happened. They packed all their stuff up, went back and gave a completely negative report. So you build machines that allow the electricity to raise its own voltage constantly, and you can use it again. You can just keep throwing it over on the, on the front again. Yeah. And it works. It works all the time. Yeah, they're not even like hiding the fact that it's free energy. So, I mean, I, I can give you the list of the patents we uncovered. I mean, these are companies saying, uh, to recycle the energy back into this contraption that's running our conveyor belts for mining. I mean, they actually say that it's to recycle the energy back. The, the generators that, that, that produce, um, you know, electric impulses without lens law, you know, slowing it down and, you know, run by a regenerative motor is the, is the self-running combination. There's absolutely no doubt about it. An epical event. It, I mean, all of history is going to pivot around this like the birth of Jesus. Tesla did not believe that any electrical phenomena operated on thermodynamic laws, period. He was 100% sure that electricity was the movement of a, of a, a very fine material fluid. Mm -hmm. It was the flow of matter.